I have a question that just came up that I would ask you both. Still ask it. We have another good one that's going to tie okay. into a point. Go ahead. No, go, go ahead. ahead. I'll ask my. I'll ask mine last. Okay, this isn't food related though. Is that all right? Yeah, that's fine. So just assume you have to borrow someone's car. We could argue, would you ever do that? Would you ever be comfortable with that? How, how close do you have to be with someone to be comfortable borrowing their car? Let's just assume you are and you have borrowed it. Do you fill it up to the level it was at? Do you just fill it up no matter what? So that's the first question. Fill it up where it was or fill it up all the way. The second, do you vacuum the inside? Do you run it through a car wash first? And which of those three is the most optional between gas fill up, vacuuming the inside, and car wash? One consideration would be how long you had the car, of course. But still, of the three, which, which of those is the most optional? Mm. I feel like the car wash and vacuum are optional. That wouldn't even cross my mind. Unless like I made a very clear mess. If Right. If it was like, I'm trying to think of an example. I had to borrow it for a long road trip and I had clearly eaten in the car and spilled some food, even small crumbs of fries and stuff like that. I could maybe, I could maybe see thinking, yeah, I better like stop somewhere and do a quick couple quarters and, and vacuum this thing out. I don't know that I would ever think to do the car wash personally. Uh, yeah. I f- and I feel like the gas question, the answer is at least to where it was when you got it is the right mm-hmm. answer. <laughs> yeah. At least there. I but, feel uh, like you have yeah. to, I feel like you have to try harder to fill it up to three quarters of a tank than you do to just fill the dang thing up. That's, yeah, that's very true. You're that's- putting in more effort to be a jerk kind of. <laughs> If you want to put in three quarters of a tank, it's like the first thing you have to do is like do some research, right? <laughs> you have to like pull up on your phone and what is a 2006 Tundra fuel tank capacity, whatever <laughs> exactly. gallons, how many? Exactly. And then you got to start doing math and like you have to, that's a, that's too much work to go the cheap route. Right. I agree. So Could I'm hearing you-, you say that the car wash is for sure the most optional because you didn't even consider it. And you might consider a quick vacuum if you borrowed it for a long time. But only as a cleanup after yourself kind of thing, not as trying to return it better kind of thing. Better than I found it kind of thing. Like, yeah, I was on a long car trip. I ate some fries. I may have farted once or twice. (laughs) Yeah. It's an air freshener. Follow up question. Could you, in lieu of all three of those, let's say... Um, let's not make it an extreme example. Let's say your car broke down and you just needed to borrow a family member's car, not like your significant other, but like maybe a cousin or a, a mother, father-in-law, something like that. Let's say you just had to borrow it for a couple of days. So no, nothing crazy. You don't put gas in it, but you give them like a $20, $30 restaurant gift card. Is that an acceptable alternative to putting gas in it as like a thank you. Well, I mean, maybe a decade ago, twenty thirty dollars. That's true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Or maybe two years ago. We're living in Putin's America, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> so at that point, do you go? Why? Why not just gas? Just put gas in it. Yeah, because if yeah, you yeah. stopped somewhere to get me the gift card. Why didn't you just stop at the same place? Well, come on. It was let's all be honest that you're just regifting a gift card. Or you're regifting. Point. Well, that would be the only re- that would be the only reason I would say it's okay like I absolutely couldn't stop somewhere but I had this gift card that is above the value of what it would have taken to refill your tank. I'm very sorry I was running behind. Let, allow me to regift this to you. It's the same as money. I know that I've never seen you eat at Skyline Chili's before, but I had to get you this gift card. (laughs) Thank you. Look, I know it looks a little worn, but I wrote the right number on the back so you can see. I wrote 
I remembered what it was. $73 remaining on this $100 <laughs> Skyline. All of a sudden, I have to come up with a meaningful reason why I'm giving them $23.35. <laughs> Just don't order all your conies at once. That would be a jerk move. Yeah. Uh, I had I had a family member who let their other side of the family member borrow a, a vehicle. And when the first family member got it back, it was a light gray interior. The ceiling had brown stain on the ceiling. And the people who borrowed it never brought it up. Mm. Never said a word. It was almost like they shook a two liter of Coke and dropped Mento Mentos in it and it exploded on the ceiling light gray they never said a word so the the family member gets their vehicle back and they're like what what horrific brown stain and they never said anything about it hmm. that had to have been a seinfeld episode <laughs> yeah that was the guy peeing on the couch cushion yeah. <laughs> just never saying anything 